Hello everyone, I want to show you this quick demo about how we can use an anonymous user on ServiceNow to do a few things. Now this is a problem a lot of people run into and I think this is a pretty good solution to it. Full disclosure, I'm not a developer, so this may not be perfect. There may be some security challenges that you need to check through with your development team as you try to use this. The problem I'm trying to solve is what if we don't want a people to log in and to use our different catalogs in ServiceNow? In the example I'm using, it's a citizen. So I'm going to share this citizen login new page. And what this page does is it's going to go ahead and when you try to log in, I have a different browser in here that's not logged into ServiceNow. But when I try to log into a certain catalog item that requires authentication, what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to validate CAPTCHA first. Now, after I go ahead and validate CAPTCHA, what it'll do is it will log me in as a guest user. Okay, once I verify CAPTCHA. Now what's nice about this one is once I get onto this guest user page, I don't need to validate CAPTCHA anymore. Right? So it logs me in as the guest user, and now I can go ahead and do what I need to inside the maps. All right, so that's option A. Now let's go ahead and I'm gonna log out of here. Now let's say you don't want to do CAPTCHA or I don't want to have a continuous guest screen in front of this. So what I can do is if I just want to go direct to the screen and let people log in anonymously, uh, what I can do is I can go change this widget in here called Login with Guest. And I, I have a line commented and I'm going to share, if you look in the comments below, I'm going to share a link to this page with the widgets on it so you can just download the update set. But what you want to do is if you want to let the user go direct, if you scroll down in your client controller, all you have to do is call that login script here. So basically you're skipping CAPTCHA. And then what that'll do is that'll bring you right onto the page. So when I go back now and I try to go to my catalog item directly, whether it's from a Google search or whether you're link, hard linking that, that form in your catalog, uh, what, it, what it will do is it will let me go back to my other page. Okay, when I go to my catalog item now, it's just going to redirect me. So this widget, this login widget is going to redirect me and I'm logged in as guest without doing anything. Okay, so there's two options for you. There's a few more options to log in anonymously. But what makes this is a great way is because I'm logged in and I actually have a session, I can still use my variable sets and I could still do things where I'm, like what I'm going to do on this map eventually is pull cases back onto the map. And if I go in and I don't have a session established, I won't be able to grab those cases back from the server. So I think this is a very good way to do that. And one thing you want to check is you do in this script, you do have to hard code a username and password when I get to this widget. So in the widget, you'll see that I'm passing the username and password. It's going to be inside of the, the server script. Okay, so you want to make sure you call it in the server script so it's not exposed. If you go in the server script, you'll see where we set that username and password up here. And one final piece to this before we conclude. How did I get that redirect to work? So we saw that I developed that page called Citizen Guest. And now all you have to do to make that work is if you go into your portals under Service Portal Portals and you find the one I'm working on. So I'm working on the Citizen Portal. And I want that anonymous login to work for that portal only. I want it to work for the other portals. What I'll do is I'll just scroll down here for my citizen portal and I'll make sure that I'm only using that login page on that specific portal. Find the citizen experience on my citizen portal. And all I'm going to do is my login page that I just showed you, I'm going to make sure that's my login page. Everything that's non-public on that portal from this point on, including catalog items and even pages, will go to that login page first, which in this case will auto-log them in as guest. Hopefully this is helpful to everyone. I know a lot of people have been struggling with this, and if you do have updates, please either post them in the comments below or share them with me directly. Thank you very much.